Two more tries, Justin. Two more tries. Justin. 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 Should we build a skateboard park? That's the issue as we move into session 12B featuring argumentative essay writing, evaluating evidence. So here are some key phrases to use as you continue to work on your argumentative essay. I challenge this. I don't think. Critics argue that. While it might be true that, still, in all, others may say that, but I argue, while some might say, nevertheless, it turns out that, for example, here's the situation. People in Kansas City gathered for a town meeting to discuss whether it is a great idea for the town to build a skateboard park. People spoke for both sides. So, in this first situation, you're going to rate whether or not the reasons for the arguments are great, bad, or okay. Person A says, we shouldn't have a skateboarding park. Our town needs money for other important things, such as new uniforms for our football team. If we build a skateboard park, our team will be embarrassed on the field. So, Person A has made a claim, we shouldn't have a skateboarding park, and Person A has supported his or her claim with these details. How well has Person A done? Think, has this person done a great job, bad job, or okay job? In this situation, probably okay. Now, Person A did uh, make a statement, we shouldn't have a skateboarding park, went on to support why he or she thinks we shouldn't have a skateboard park, our town needs money for other important things, and mentioned specifically new uniforms for our football team. Where this person falters comes with, if we build a skateboarding park, our team will be embarrassed on the field. Uh, this is a generalization. It's not necessarily going to happen. It's not based on fact. The team won't necessarily be embarrassed just because they don't get new uniforms. Here's the next situation. Remember, you're going to rank the reason for the argument as great, bad, or okay. Person B says we shouldn't have a skateboarding park. I know someone who skateboarded all the time, and so he stopped doing his homework and started getting bad grades, and this shows everyone who uses it will get bad grades. What rank would you give this? Most likely you said bad. It is bad. This person does start with a claim we shouldn't have a skateboarding park. However, the logic of what this person says does not make any sense. I know someone who skateboarded all the time, so he stopped doing his homework and started getting bad grades. Well, he probably would have stopped doing his homework anyway, and this shows everyone who uses it will get bad grades. That doesn't make any sense. That's not a cause and effect situation. This is just this person's opinion. So bad for that one. Here's the next situation that you get to rank as great, bad, or okay. Person C says, we should have a skateboarding park. I had one in my town when I was growing up, and I loved it. All the kids will love it just like I did. Great, bad, or okay. Again, we have a bad situation. The claim has been made, but then this person just states his or her opinion about having a skateboarding park. So great, bad, or okay, person D says we should have a skateboarding park. All these people who are saying we shouldn't are just cranky and trying to deny our kids a little fun. Yes, you guessed it, another bad situation. Stated a claim, but then just stated an opinion. This is a generalization, and it's also name-calling, which we've talked about before. You shouldn't do that. You need to stick just to the facts. So, great, bad, or okay, here comes person E, we should have a skateboarding park. Right now, kids who want to skateboard use the sidewalk, and that's dangerous. Only last week, I saw an older woman almost being run over because skateboarders were on the sidewalk. So, we finally have a great one. The claim has been made, 
And this person is stating what he or she has seen. Kids who want to skateboard use the sidewalk, and that's dangerous. And then uh, giving a specific fact, I saw an older woman almost being run over because skateboarders were on the sidewalk. There's a, a logical cause and effect in this situation. Great, bad, or okay? Person F says we should have a skateboarding park. Skateboarding is exercise, and it gets kids involved in a healthy activity. It's better than having them just sit around with nothing to do or get into trouble. In this situation, most likely okay. This person has stated specific reasons for having a skateboarding park. It is exercise, and it gets kids involved in a healthy activity. However, then we get into some opinion here. It's better than having them just sit around with nothing to do or get into trouble. This person is drawing a conclusion that doesn't necessarily make sense. Just because the kids don't have a skateboarding park doesn't mean they're gonna sit around with nothing to do or get into trouble. So here are some common flaws in reasoning. Generalizing. Assume specific example will be true everywhere. We saw some examples of that. Discrediting. Insults people's character rather than taking issue with their points. We saw an example of that. Assuming consequences. Implies cause and effect relationship that isn't proven. Yeah, we saw that one also. And questionable assumption. Argument founded on something that might not be true. You have to stick to the facts. And that is your focus as you continue to work on your argumentative essay. Right now you need to write for at least 13 minutes, so I'd say get started.